I believe that we have seven secret codes tonight in romance. So romance as a lifestyle, as a way of harmonizing the being, doing, dance. I love that. So what are these codes that hide the secrets of romance? We're going to find out shortly as we knew. We'll unveil them. So she will teach us how we can work with them, unravel them, what prevents you from activating them in your life. And we look forward tonight to having this all unfold. So welcome everyone, Justin, Cheryl, Daniela, Sarah. I see Abella, but it says Vince. We have Renell, <laughs> David and Helene. Mary Catherine's in there somewhere. I saw her a moment ago and many more coming on board. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and get started um, with Minu as she walks us through the 16th Pearl of Wisdom, which is all about romance. So we are excited. Hi, Minu. Hi, Catherine. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Facebook has decided to change its uh, technology, so we are not Facebook Live straight away. Uh, but we'll put it up on Facebook a bit later. Uh, so yes, hello everyone. Um, bright and early for me. I mean, I, it's not even bright yet. It's middle of the night, half past one right now. And uh, just so present to, it actually doesn't matter what time it is, you know, it all depends on, um, on how we choose to present ourselves. So I'm like feeling very alert and engaged in what we are about to begin. So romance, a pearl of wisdom, you know, really great, really great that it is one of the pearls of wisdom. Remember the definition of the pearl of wisdom as chosen um, by my intuitive uh, guidance is that each pearl is, um, is whole and complete in itself. And each one makes that contribution to uh, making our world a world that works for everyone. So romance, how wonderful that that is one of those pearls. The seven secret codes. The first one that has, <clears throat> uh, has been shown to me is, it's about understanding what romance is. You know, so for example, love, love simply is. It's the isness of being human is love. Romance is a, is a lifestyle. And it's a lifestyle. So, you know, like different, uh, different lifestyles are suited for different people. Romance is the lifestyle that is suited for humans. So humans being love, romance is the lifestyle that is in perfect attunement with that. So that's the first secret code. So it is like, okay, actually we do like romance, you know, as humans, we do like romance. And one of the, the things that happens that creates that unrequited love or that feeling of loneliness, when we feel we can't have these romantic times with, uh, with another. Um, but actually, if it is a lifestyle, you know, you're living a lifestyle. And in that, in that lifestyle, uh, you can enjoy that lifestyle yourself and you can share it with others and it's uh, it's it's great but you don't have to be totally and completely dependent on anyone else you know your lifestyle is your lifestyle so similarly if romance is the lifestyle that is suited that matches that is in tune with the with the humans being love, then it simply is, you know, it's just, it's just there. It's like, it's available to us. The moment we reconnect to and claim our standing in the space of love, which is who we are as a human in terms of our vibration, romance is the lifestyle that's available to us instantly. It's as if we have this humongous villa that exists called romance. And we just have to claim it by choosing to stand in the vibe of love.
that was quite a revelation for me. And, you know, the, the romance is something that I have been um, an understudy of in this new way from the time that I chose to, you know, go to Bali in 2010 and reconnect to the calling of my soul. And I've had some amazing, amazing intuitive teachers that have given me these different codes and this session as a pearl of wisdom are, are really bringing all of that together. So the first secret code to remember is it's yours to have. Romance is yours to have. All you are to do is to step into the isness of being human, which is love. Romance is yours as a lifestyle. Now, the second code, or maybe it is an expansion of the first one. You know, just like life is an organism that's breathing. You live your life to come alive. Similarly, the moment you step into the isness of being human, romance is your lifestyle that is in perfect attunement with that. Now you are to live that lifestyle for you to experience it. But you know what takes us away from romance often is feeling as if we don't have one. Or we don't, um, you know, we, we can't, you know, who will we do it with? Well, first, claim it. You know, first, own it. This is the second, second code of romance, which is given that, that is the moment you step into the isness of being human, romance is the lifestyle that you have. That is in perfect attunement. It's there. You step into your villa and there you are in the, in the world of romance. So first, claim that. The moment you claim it, you can then step into experiencing romance. So the second secret code is all about claiming it. Now, when you claim that, okay, fine, this villa is mine, it is mine, and I can live in it, I can experience life in it, I can choose to come alive in this space. You, what you get to see, the moment you claim it, what you get to see is this environment, you don't even have to create it, it exists. You literally just simply have to step into it and make the choice, claim it as yours. The moment you claim it as yours, as a lifestyle, it's yours and it's given to you just because you've chosen to be in the vibe of being human, literally it's exhale, you can let your hair down, you know, a breeze starts flowing and you feel that wonderful spring in your step. You can twirl, you can hop, skip, jump, do a happy dance, scream, sing, move. It's your environment. It's your lifestyle. And it's yours to claim. There is no yes, but, no, but, any of that. It just is yours to claim. What if you just claimed it for the sake of it? And you may, you may, you may just think that, oh, I don't quite live in a place that 
I, that feels very romantic. I have to go somewhere else. Well, here's the thing. Claim it first. And you can experience romance anywhere. And with anyone. And even by yourself. Even with nature. Because your lifestyle goes with you wherever you go. It's like we're now entering the, the zone where once you've claimed romance, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like your vibe is laced with the vibe of romance. And the vibe of romance, I'm going to talk about that. That's one of the secret codes. But the vibe of romance has you literally be in that space of lightness of being with your hair let down, you know, feeling that, you know, really breathing, breathing in, experiencing, seeing all that is around you. Because in this, in this lifestyle of romance, where you step into your flow and you start flowing with your flow is when you are in the isness of being human, which is love. It is so cool, the combination of these two codes. Understanding that romance is a lifestyle and claiming it as your lifestyle keeps you in that isness of being human, which is anchored in the vibration of love. And you know what love is? It's, an, it's a frequency and it's an amplifying frequency. So what does it do? It amplifies romance. Because you've just claimed it. The third code of romance. Romance is about allowing yourself to receive. Romance is about receiving. And we actually look at it very differently. We think it's about, you know, doing something with someone else. And it's, you know, and we go into a space of giving or or doing, but romance is actually about receiving. It's a lifestyle where you can sit back and just receive. Or you can be, you know, have the spring in your step and frolic around, dance your dance and receive. You receive adoration, you receive being acknowledged, even if people are making fun of you, it's okay, they're noticing you. You receive the experiences of all that is going on. Romance, once you understand it's a lifestyle and you claim it as your lifestyle and you start receiving, you step into the exquisite experience of presence. Receiving, having claimed romance as your lifestyle, it's a very different experience than grab, take, give, you know, come on, dear. It's very different. Because remember, the precursor to all of that is you having stepped into the isness of being human, which is love. You're already amplifying. You know, so love by itself, because it's an amplifying frequency, literally just puts you in the space of flow and of abundance. And in that isness, romance is your lifestyle. You claim it and you start receiving. Receiving in romance 
is the secret to regenerative. And what is it? What are you regenerating? You are actually regenerating that vital life force. That chi that the Chinese talk about, prana as the Indians talk about, life force, just vital life force. So as a result, you know, literally the purple in the flowers, the yellow in the daffodils, just everything accentuates. The colors of the rainbow, the experiences of the world around you start to accentuate as well. And you start receiving the aliveness in the world that you're surrounded with. And you start getting that all of this exists in your world. It's in your field. It's a part of your lifestyle. Your senses become accentuated. And you know, the great thing is, your mind isn't running in all directions. It actually is very centered. Your heart is actually the leader here. When you step into, the, this, is, this is the fourth code, I'm bringing it in, which is romance, is you are led by, the, by your heart. Now people would say, of course you are led by your heart, you know? That's what this romantic uh, times that we spend with our, with our lovers are all about. It's all, it's a, that heart connection. Hey, heart has no emotion. It is emotionless. It's a brain, like a brain. It's connected to every organ in your body. And its only job is to be in the now. And it, it is true to what it is here to do. And it does it. The heart is a doing organ. It is not a being. It's not activated by being. It just does. It is not affected by anything. It just does, 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 which means it is present 100%, 100% of the time, unperturbed, unaffected by anything. Now, when I say romance is led by the heart, it is led by, by presencing yourself in the moment. What exists in the moment? Only miracles. There is no past. There is no future. There is only what there is. And what is there? You, in your human form. Okay, your love. That's just so. Nobody can take that away from you. And you're in the now. And what, what exists in the moment are miracles. If you allow yourself to be, to, to really be led by this heart presence within you, you start presencing yourself to what's there that's making this heart sing. So that singing has that vibe of that wonderful, yummy flutter in your heart that you get when, it, when you're starting to get infatuated by someone or if you're, if you're about to meet a loved one or you're about to go into an adventure. It's pretty cool, these secret codes. Romance is the lifestyle which is in perfect attunement with the isness of being human. And it's up to you to claim that lifestyle as your lifestyle. And when you do, then a whole new experience of the world opens up. And you start presencing yourself in the moment. Rejoicing and celebrating in 
the miracles that abound, that surround you, that are ground you. And what does that result in? It gives you an even greater lightness of being. This next secret code is links romance to this concept of true love. You know, a phrase of a, a belief that many of us have held. The perfect romance is the romance we have with our true love. True love. There is no true or false about love. It's a label. The moment we say true love, it means nothing. Really means nothing. There is no true or false about love. Love simply is. It's an isness. And there is a truth in that isness of being human. So once you get that romance is available to you as I mean, it is available to you as your lifestyle and you do claim it when you are with someone else often or you believe that's when you are entitled to it. You don't see that romance is available to you wherever you are. So if there is no true or false about love, love simply is, that's just so, that is the truth. So what the secret code is saying is that when you are in the truth of anything, when you are true to your nature, when you are in the truth of, of, of nature, or when you are present to, the, to someone else, being to totally, completely authentic, and in their truth, you are in that experience of romance. It's there. It's a being in your truth, being in somebody else's, in the presence of someone else's truth, being in the truth of nature, you are in the experience of feeling romantic. So literally, this piece, once you get that, okay, if I want to experience that feeling of feeling romantic, you know, where that lightness of being just, just is, happens, I simply have to, you know, step into my truth, which is being human. You can overcomplicate it, it isn't. And get myself to a place where I am in the, in, surrounded by an environment where everything is in its truth. So nature often does that. I mean, just think back to the times that you might have spent with someone you truly, you feel you, you, you love and someone who is who you would call as your romantic partner. It's quite exquisite to be in the midst of nature, be it the ocean, be it anywhere. It just happens automatically, something occurs. Well, that's that feeling of feeling romantic. But it's up to you, you've got it. Now, you don't have to even have a big expansive vista. You can be in the confines of a, of a closed room and be in your truth and you will experience that fabulousness of romance. During my journey of spiritual awakenings that I experienced, 2012 was a year when I was guided to go into silences. You know, that there would be three days, 15 days, 10 days, seven days of silence, and I would do it. And there was one silence which was totally dedicated to 
true love and romance. And usually when I would go into silence, I would just follow my guidance, get into my car. I was living in Perth get into my car. I actually had a huge big van at the time. I just got into my van. So I knew that I was going to go somewhere far away from town. And I go somewhere far away. And there is only one little motel that I could really stop and stay in the night. And it was it was a motel very, very basic. The room was super basic. So okay, I go and stay there. And, just, and then I receive this topic true love and romance. I'm like, this does not feel romantic. And all I have out there is the Australian bush, which also didn't, you know, it wasn't something, there was nothing there. It was like the Australian desert all around, really. I wasn't that far from town. I could have gone back if I wanted to. But in my periods of silence, I didn't do that. So I knew there was something very unique I was going to learn about romance. So this code is all about that feeling romantic. And I got the under, I received the understanding that it is really simply about me being in my truth. It wasn't the safest surroundings that I was in. So I had to stay in the car most of the time. I was driving through the bush. I mean, this was a, a pretty good car. I could go through quite rough terrain. And just choosing to experience that. There were times where the van was the place that I slept in just because I had traveled too far and it was way past sunset. I didn't want to come back. I was able to experience that feeling of ro that feeling of rom feeling romantic inside a van inside this very monastic room that I was in because I was in amidst the truth of everything there was nature in its truth the sounds the insects the ruggedness of the roads the expansiveness of the of the sky that was the time where i really felt that connected to the sky it was very soon after after that on my way back is when i realized i just had to go away for half an hour away from perth and i could just lie on you know on the uh, on on the bonnet of my car if i wanted to and see the milky way right above me the sky felt so huge and I felt so much a part of something so expansive. It was, it was an experience of flowing, unending, eternal abundance. All abundance, truly awesome abundance, flowing in an infinite way. And it was simply connecting to the truth of everything that is around me. And it was in that deep dive into this particular secret code that I got that everything, everyone has something that is uniquely magnificent about them, which is really their truth. Everything else is layers and layers of disguise that they have put up on their human form. And when we step into the truth of who we are, we connect straight to the truth of what's around us. And when it comes to romance, it is not limited to us experiencing the romantic feeling with another human. You can, but you don't have to. It's truly, it's simply about connecting to the truth of who you are, truth of what is around you. I understood, because it did feel fearful too, you know, 
at certain times. That's when I understood fear is false expectations appearing real. Taking me away from my truth. I didn't feel romantic in that moment. The moment I stepped into the reality of it, I experienced that experience of feeling romantic, the spring in my step, the fullness, the whole and completeness of every moment of aliveness itself became my reality. And you know what it did? It was like a domino effect. It started revealing, unveiling to me how much we already have that is real. You know, be it memories that we can feel grateful for. Be it the gift of observation where you can observe the exquisiteness of the form that you embody that is enabling you to have these experiences. And literally, romance multiplies. Because romance, the secret of romance is lies in receiving. And when you allow yourself to simply be in this pure state of receiving, you, and you are in your truth, you activate the receiving of the truth of what's around you. And it multiplies, it regenerates. That romantic feeling becomes a never-ending exquisiteness that is available to you. And it's yours to claim as your lifestyle. Only after you have claimed it as your lifestyle and you put into practice, you know, you stepping into your truth and seeing the truth in others, when you share it with another, be it your lover, be it your husband, your wife, your friend, your siblings, when you share it with another, they experience that lightness of being in themselves. They step into their truth. And it becomes this beautiful exchange of two people completely present and presencing their truth. Being present to the magnificence of themselves and of each other. And you experience, the experience is like, you know, laughing for no reason, finding yourself suddenly become a stand-up comic, experiencing that experience of feeling unstoppable, it's like, you know, you're in love, truly, madly, deeply, the truly madly deeply in love is this experience of feeling romantic. And this understanding came from this whole true love and romance, thinking it was all going to be about now in this new state, how am I going to find my true love? Well, there it was. And literally, it's, it's, it's love that nobody can take away from you. Nobody can diminish. Love is an amplifying frequency. It is so exquisite to know. An amplifying frequency such as love cannot be diminished. It's a frequency that amplifies. And it is the best environment for it to be amplified is in the environment of your lifestyle of romance. 
which opens you up to receiving. And to have that feeling, that experience of feeling romantic, you simply have to be in your truth and you plug into the truth of everything around you. This was such a huge moment for me. It was like my own personal walkabout. And lo and behold, I was doing it in this amazing ancient land of Western Australia. I literally connected to life in such a powerful way, had the most amazing, exquisite experiences, you know, with animals, with flowers, with, you know, just, I noticed the vividness of the colors that you saw in, in this rugged desert land. When spring, when, when it was spring, it felt like the whole place was on fire because the color was, was so vivid of the flowers that showed up. There weren't that many, but whatever were there was so vivid and vibrant. Playing out their own romance, being in their truth, a true expression of themselves. The sixth secret code in romance. Romance has uh, it. What is the innate vibration of romance? The innate vibration of romance is lightness of being. And it's an unstoppable lightness of being. The innate vibration of romance is unstoppable lightness of being. My gosh. And that's why it feels so good when we, when we are, you know, celebrating it with another. So you could go on an adventure, I mean, it's like really experiencing this romance lifestyle. When I got that, wow, this is unstoppable lightness of being. I have it on my fingertips. Nothing needs to be that heavy anymore. And, you know, we make romance, romantic date nights, all of that is great. But after a while, it starts to become like a, a little bit of a routine and I've, I've chosen to do it in my previous incarnation in this human form. Oh, it's date night today. Oh my gosh, I've got to finish this. It starts to become heavy again. And then you're in the date night and it's like, okay, it doesn't, I really need to be doing this and I need to be doing that. And here I am because we said we're going to have a date night. Okay, we, you know, we're going to have this kind of conversation. It's like, hello, lightness of being. What is, where is that? Well, you know why that was? I could have romance in that moment if I wanted to, because it was my lifestyle. Didn't, I didn't know about any of this stuff at the time. It started becoming heavy because I wasn't stepping into this lifestyle of romance. I wasn't experiencing that romantic feeling within myself. I was giving that power away to the other person and, and our dynamic. And romance was very fast, you know, like literally very quickly disappearing until it fizzled out altogether. Whereas I do remember when it all began, it was like I was on an adventure. And how does it feel when you do embark on an adventure, be it of any kind, moving a house, 
moving countries <laughs> or buying something that you've been wanting to buy for a long time, visiting a place or suddenly stumbling into this amazing um, vista. You may be in a, in a completely stressed out place and you suddenly find this, this viewpoint on a drive, you stop and this vista is there. What happens to the stress? It just disappears instantly. Because that romantic feeling comes in and that unstoppable lightness of being is anchored. And when it's anchored, the universe multiplies it and it starts multiplying. It's pretty amazing to really, once you get, romance is about receiving. What brought the heaviness into the date nights? Was I thought I had, thought I had to give. I had to be in a, cer a certain way. So even if the other person was doing something that they wanted to share, I wasn't receiving. I was like so present to what I had to do in, re in response to that. When you're not allowing yourself to receive, you literally are, it's like you're creating little barricades. The key thing is, there is, there is nothing that you require to experience that romantic feeling, except being in your truth. But that's, that's a being thing. And the doing will flow. The, the seventh secret code to romance. Given that it's innate vibration is the vibration of unstoppable lightness of being. The seventh secret code to romance, it lies in rejoicing. So if all else fails, and you just find yourself stuck in a place where you start spinning, or you feel so stuck that nothing is is able to shift that state of mind. You find something that you can rejoice. And start expressing that cele the celebration of that thing. I mean, the fact that you still, you're still breathing is a good access point that opens up. And it literally is the moment that box opens up, rejoicing is your access to it. The innate vibe of romance kicks in, which is unstoppable lightness of being. And then just in this six and seven secret codes, you can, you find such a multiplier effect that starts to happen because the universe steps in instantly. The, the, the quickest activator for the universe energies, you remember what is universe energies only operate, there's only one modus operandi for the universe, which is a multiplier effect. That is what the universe energies are. They apply a multiplier effect to whatever it is that you are vibrating. So if you can, even when you're totally beaten, if you can find something to rejoice, one thing, it opens the doorway to the innate vibration of romance, which is that unstoppable lightness of being starts to enter. Because it's very, it can happen, you know, things occur, you forget that this is a lifestyle. You know, someone ends a relationship with you, there's a breakup, or you're present to someone else's breakup who you cared about a lot, 
and it reminds you of your own. Or you suddenly feel, I can't, you know, I'm just feeling so lonely. How can romance even be in my reality? And it starts to beat you down. I'm locked down. Diagnosis COVID positive. Can't go anywhere. Whatever might, it might occur. Even in, in the, the toughest of moments, find that little sliver of something you can rejoice. Because all we are to do is connect to that innate vibe of romance, which is unstoppable lightness of being, and it multiplies. And then your conscious awareness comes in and you can then go into, aha, romance is a lifestyle. It is the lifestyle that is most in tune with the isness of being human, which is love. I claim that lifestyle and literally all the secret codes get activated. And off you go. Vibrating this powerful vibe of unstoppable lightness of being. Rejoicing in the regalia of feeling romantic in your truth. Experiencing romance. Now, what does that do? You become a magnet that magnetizes those that can go on this adventure with you. And together, you multiply this romance. And it multiplies. This is the cool, the other cool thing about romance. It is regenerative. It's regenerative by its very nature. It's regenerative. You know that for yourself. When you feel the lightness of being, the vital life force, it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't even matter that you may be feeling ill. When that lightness of being comes in, somehow you recover faster. And, you know, that vital life force is there. So it just regenerates. It literally is one of these amazing, beautiful, catapulting, regenerative effects. It is the secret source of aliveness, romance. So if you're going to, you know, you have life, you're going to live it. You may as well live it in the lifestyle that your human form is best and easily accustomed to, which is a romance, a romance lifestyle. So when I say the being doing dance, this is the romance is the rhythm of the being doing dance. It's like, you know, when you hear certain beats of music, they, you, you, even if you're just sitting there feeling morose or whatever, there's certain beats of music gone and you can't help it, your body starts moving, you know? Romance is that kind of a beat. It, when romance is there as a lifestyle that you have claimed and you are, you're receiving, you're in that space of receiving, receiving, in this, in this form, in, in a romance way, it gets you to be completely present. You are in, in tune with that unstoppable lightness of being and you are experiencing more and more things that you can rejoice in. It is the beat of aliveness. It is the beat of aliveness. And that's why the secret code about romance is led by the heart. Alive in the moment when you become a, a practiced um, master of living in the moment, you are led by the heart. Because the heart doesn't put any, uh, it, it doesn't put any feelings, meanings into anything. 
it just is being led by your heart keeps you in your truth and you are just present to the the miracles the beauty of all that is and of course romance was going to follow beauty because beauty is all about being in our truth so everything flows so the being doing dance can be a dance that you start doing or you start simply allowing yourself to be in it the being doing dance is the dance of aliveness when it is enacted in your in your lifestyle of romance so you have romance is there for the taking it's up to you to claim it once you have claimed it for yourself you can share it nobody else can give it to you if they do you will you will you will enjoy it for a period of time but it, it doesn't sustain and it's absolutely not regenerative we sabotage it just like we sabotage love by assuming that you know we are to be loved by another or there is someone else we ought to love to feel whole and complete but love is it's an isness romance is the lifestyle when you are in that isness nobody can give it to you nobody can take it away and it can multiply to whatever extent you want it to multiply it's your choice and hey when you adopt the romance lifestyle it doesn't need to be limited to one person you just experience a lifestyle wherever you are it doesn't need to be confined to one person because it is unstoppable lightness of being but what it means is when you are with the person that you have chosen to honor as your companion you can share and it becomes a very beautiful exchange of sharing you don't have to go and give them a lecture on how they are to be in their truth for you to have this amazing exquisite romance experience you be in your truth you will see it'll occur it's just so it's it's you know i can see the the unstoppable i could see the unstoppable lightness of being when i started adopting this romance lifestyle i literally went on an adventure and that is what made me come alive i realized like wow i was waking up every morning like i was going to i was this excited kid going into kindergarten again and this time i wasn't just learning about life i was actually learning about aliveness and by learning about aliveness i was making choices of how i was going to live my life and i could do that in a monastic little room or on 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 this you know makeshift bed in the back of my van and i could do this in my villa in bali on a flight creating my own wonderful chamber experiencing that romantic feeling the other exciting thing understanding these codes you know so as you understand these codes my invitation to each one of you would be to really look at where you don't you don't live your life that way where some of these things are not present now why am i asking you to do that i'm asking you to do that because in your acknowledgement you weaken the root of that which keeps some of these dysfunctional behaviors of ours in place 
by acknowledging that they exist. Simply by acknowledging it and saying the truth of what's so to yourself, you weaken the, at a root level. And it literally is the, the most powerful weed killer of dysfunctionalness within us. Acknowledgement. Because as you acknowledge it, you're able to, in the midst of all of that, still find something to rejoice. And that starts the cycle of romance, where the innate vibe is connected. Unstoppable lightness of being happens. Open yourself up to receiving, being completely present, present claiming this lifestyle of romance for you. Knowing that it is the one that is the best suited to the, to the isness of being human. And really the only thing, if there was one choice you are to make, it is to, to choose to be human, which is embrace, embody, experience the love that you are. The human vibe attunement, that's why it is so powerful. You know, people, most of you here have been on it, have done that. You've ex each one of you has experienced your own way of experiencing that deep state of rest or trance-like experience with just those three words. I acknowledge myself as a human. I receive myself as a human. I accept myself as a human. And that's it. You can now, in a, in a conscious way, claim romance as your lifestyle and go on this amazing, never-ending adventure of exquisiteness and bliss. Over to you, Catherine. Ah, you know, Minu, I was just imagining uh, Mamma Mia <laughs> and the lightness of being in that movie. And that just was so <sighs> coming forth for me. And I just love these secret codes that have us come alive again, no matter what, you know, that we can do anywhere, anytime. And I guess yeah. anyone, including ourselves. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> much. That was glorious. Yummy, yummy. The being, doing, dance. So anyone that would like to share your closing comments or words with me new, mine, mine is abundance as <laughs> always. This one really called that forth. So I'd okay, love that. That's the, that's the word. That's the word of the day. If you like for romance, all abundant, awesome and abundant. And I love how they're all so interconnected, the beauty and how they're coming through me new. It's just, it's yeah. so Sequence is perfect. 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 Okay. Let me read some of these closing words. Romance is having a sweet heart. Love that. Love that word, sweet. Ra, ro, ma, ro, ma, ma, minu, ooh, la, la, be your own romance. <laughs> I don't think I said that right, <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> Great. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. That's great. Scrumptiousness. Ooh, I love that word. So alive and joyful. Thank you, Minu. Lightness is a blast. Sweetness. I don't know, Sean. You might want to be throwing a little ooh-la-la -la in there. <laughs> <gasps> learning to love oh ha, ha, ha. ooh la la <laughs> ooh la la it's so fun I love that we get to come together and have it is such a lightness when we come together and hear these words and we take romance to be sometimes so heavy and there's no heaviness in it from this unique perspective yeah yeah. I mean, there are many, many questions that we can actually 
address with romance and beauty. So you know, just go ahead and share those questions and I'll answer them next time around. Um, but the moment you feel heaviness in any relationship, you know, you're disconnected to the truth of you and the truth of the other person. Find something to celebrate. And coming from that space, you can complete the relationship if it isn't something that is there for you. But do it in a romance sort of way. Mm, I love that. And I love the, I just love the taking away that heaviness. It's, it's just, it's, and choice that we can choose. Oh, yeah. I love this. Thank you, Manu. Aliveness, not life, lightness of being. I claim romance as my lifestyle, deliciousness vibrating in romance. Expectations is such a burden. I agree with that. Another amazing, powerful pearl of wisdom. Love is lightness. Thank you for your birthday wishes. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Vince's furry family member is in romance. <laughs> Yes, there's Bella. I mean, talk about unconditional love and romance. Okay. Yes. She was glad to see me go today. She gets more events <laughs> for sure. Okay. Well, thank you all for being here. It is the 6.30 hour here on our end. And what time is it there for you, Minu? Early morning? Half past two in the morning. Oh, goodness gracious. We are so lucky. <laughs> to have you. Well, thank you all so much. Everyone have an amazing Thursday evening morning and can't wait to see you right here next week. So more juiciness. Fabulous. Have a romantic time. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. See you next week. <laughs>